It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and NPC deputy Yu Chun is already preparing for her speech. She just retired after 30 years as a bus driver. She says in her hometown Hangzhou, passengers no longer need to whip out cash for their bus fares. They can simply pay through their unique QR code on their mobile phones. This year, I will propose to the National People's Congress to start building a cash-free country by making mobile payment available in all the businesses and in all places, just like on the buses in Hangzhou. Yu spent years doing field research and continues to do so, even as she is on her way to the panel discussion. Just now, I was refused from paying on mobile. These shops won't use a convenient way of payment because they fear the money cannot be transferred safely. At 9 a.m., the panel discussion begins. Yu's primary purpose is to get her proposal included in a government work report. Premier Li Keqiang delivered the draft report to 3,000 deputies on March the 5th, and is now being deliberated by deputies divided into small panels such as this one. Last year, a total of 61 changes made their way into the final draft after the two-week deliberation. Other deputies also seem equally vocal about their own causes. Throughout government report, I did not see a single mention of improving education for farmers. I strongly suggest that the final draft include this issue. The Premier's work report said taxes in all industries will only go down, but we felt the opposite in the new energy vehicle sector. During the NPC session, all deputies have the right to speak freely without fear of backlash, allowing them to be tough when they feel that something is not right. Yu's strategy is to get as much support as she can from other deputies. After the morning session ends, Yu collects signatures from other deputies. She does not hesitate to reach out to high-rank officials and renowned professors. Utilizing the media is another tactic. We are all deputies representing our groups. No matter who they are outside the panel, we are all equal. And I must seize the opportunity to make our voices heard. The afternoon session sees an even bigger panel in which Vice Premier Liu Yandong is also present. Before the final voting day on March the 15th, you, like other deputies, will try their best to get their proposals written into the government work report. But what if Yu's proposal doesn't make it? There's no giving up for her. She says she will refine it and try again next year. Han Peng, CGTN, Beijing.